Hey everybody, Alon Paul here. Over here in the corner. Over here. Yeah, you're seeing me now. Okay, great. Hey everybody. Good to see you all. Thank you for joining us today. Um, this is what we call a dead stream. So this is not going to be any live stream at all, though we are planning one for the weekend. The reason I'm doing this is because what you're looking at right now on my screen is my latest playthrough at one hour and four minutes, which if I'm not mistaken is a minute faster than Jason plays. I think we finally figured it out. We've got it, like, really narrowed down to exactly how it needs to be done. And I still made mistakes. So I'm going to record this. We'll have the audio on. There's probably going to be voices in the background. But it's kind of a dead stream, so you can see I'm live doing it. Now, I know there'll be questions. Feel free to ask them when it's all over in the comments when you get to see this posted. So let's get started. New game. And here we go. So we'll start the timer as usual as the expedition, the E, circles around and starts up, and then we'll get moving. Now, there's a lot I do different in this from them. They do a lot in regards to scanning the animals and scanning the plants, especially all the plants at the very, very beginning. I do that, but I don't do it like they do. So, because I'm not as focused on it, I don't need what I'm getting from it, and you're going to see why. Okay, so the timer is not accurate to the time that we're going to see. As you might have seen, it said an hour and 33 minutes earlier. That was my one hour and four minute run in-game. So, this is great. We've got a good starting point. Got a hair on my glasses. That didn't help. Oh, yeah, that's much better. There wasn't a big, huge line going across the street. We got some oxygen right there we can pick up. There's some items we need to get. We need to get oxygen, sodium, carbon and carbon, uh, condensed carbon and dihydrogen those are the five things we need we got to get three buried items we got to get to our ship and we got to scan a bunch of animals as well as the plants so we're going to get a move on here plant right in front of me that's perfect so here we go okay so we're just going to focus and get some things done. I am going to scan the plants right away just because I'm right here and they're, and they're right here. So two, three, four, uh, five, and I think there's one right here. Six. Oh, nope, that's not it. That one works. Six. And we'll scan the animals in just a couple minutes. I'm not worried about getting the items like everybody else is. What I am worried about is I need oxygen. Uh, pardon me, oxygen and I need carbon. As well as the dihydrogen you see right in front of me. So we're going to get this. And I'm going to get this beam nice and hot so we can pick up a bunch of condensed carbon. Or carbon as the case may be. get that. There we go. So we should be looking at a few hundred right now. 300, that should get us going. Let's get some of this dihydrogen real quick. There's not much in this spot, but we're going to go ahead and grab it anyway. We're after the crystals. That's what we're hoping we're going to get. And I've got an oxygen patch right in front of me if we want to grab some a lot more oxygen. I need sodium... I mean, these guys keep talking about, oh, this is the the, the god place that I've got the correct... doesn't make a difference. It honestly doesn't make a difference. You're always going to be pretty close to everything. Eh, guy keeps eating me. So I'll grab that oxygen from over there. I want the sodium while I'm at it. I don't need a ton of sodium, I've found. That's probably more than enough. Okay, so my ship should be out this way. Before we go any further, let me look around and look for the plants that we need. Ooh, is that? That's really close, and I should have grabbed that before we went too far. Grab 
growing glowing minerals are very handy. Uh, let's see. Jettison pod is not going to help me at all. Please tell me that's wheat. No, it's not. That's okay. I don't know what that is. Impulse beans. Okay, we're going to have to find it elsewhere. No big deal. Let's go. Scan again. The dihydrogen is very important. No. Really? There's only one there? That's weird. Well, here's our ship already. So now you're going to see some odd things happening here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this green container, and I'm pulling out the rusted metal. You notice I haven't been gathering any... ferrite dust, obviously. Because I can do that while... Oh, I did get a crystal out of that. I can get plenty of ferrite dust out of this. Okay, we're not going to get much money for that, but we did get some ferrite out of that. No big deal. All right, let's scan some animals, and we're going to look for things while we're scanning the animals. Or, see, they're so worried about getting the units for this, and you can get the units, the credits and units, so easy in this game. You don't need to do it here. Okay, how many is that? It's going to tell us in a moment. Seven. Just need a few more. Not, I just saw someone here. There he is. I'll grab that one. Eight. I'd like to get nine animals if I can. Yeah, that works. That's nine. All right, so what do we got around here? We do have to hit that communication beacon, so we'll hit that in a minute. Heptaloid wheat. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We're going to scan again. This hydrogen I can't take, unfortunately. But the condensed carbon all the way in the left is going to be something I'm going to take. Regular carbon is good. So we'll grab it while we're here. We need two more buried items, right? And we're running at six minutes. I'm just about out of time. Okay, good deal. So we got a, a good amount of condensed carbon, not a lot. And now we need two more buried items. If we can find them rather quickly, that would be great. There's some sodium over here. I'm going to grab it real quick. Oh, we got a plant. Oh, I can't get myself moving. That's not the plant I'm looking for. Okay. Wow, we're not running into the things we need. Another buried mineral at 116. And suborganic, yes, let's grab that. There we go. And we needed that anyway. Two. I do need this stuff too, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And that's three. And we'll grab more of the silicate when we're ready. Okay, we've got everything we need from the planet now. We've got nine animals. Just going to move over to my other unit. We do need more dike, but I'm not going to worry about that yet, and I'll show you why. Okay, let's hit this thing up real fast. Okay, and we're done. Get out of here. Okay, we've got a microprocessor out of it. That's great. Okay. Here we go. 
That's what I need. We only need 50 of this, and then we can get out of here. Let's do it. We need, of course, dihydrogen and a metal plate. We're all set. Let's get this thing repaired and get out of here. And we're done. Let's get out of here. I can't get the words off my screen quick enough. There we go. Alright, so where are our planets at? Guessing behind me? There they are. All the way over here. Let's head out. We're going to stop, realign, and we're going to head towards this planet first. So something I learned from Jason, I want to thank Jason for this too, by the way, is we can take pictures of these planets from orbit. In other words, we can go into the atmosphere just a little bit and then get pictures. I'm waiting for an asteroid belt, which is why you see me staring so that I can not miss the asteroid belt. Because the asteroid belt is key to getting before we hit the space station. really could use is we need the silver out of all this and the gold for that matter should be getting close There we go, and we're done. Go back to this planet. Aim for it. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and pull in our expedition rewards real quick here. That one doesn't really help us as much as you think it might. Stardust is really helpful because it gives us some stuff we need. And the last one, which is really important, is this one. It gives us salvage data. It's the salvage data we're really interested in. So we're not even going to install these. I'm going to save these for sale later. So we're going to hang on to those. We don't really have enough silver. We're going to need more. Okay. All right, let's stop and take a look. I think our space station is over that way. So we're going to skim the atmosphere over here. Yeah, it's over there. Okay, good. And we need to switch to our engines and get them a little bit more powered so we can get into the atmosphere a little quicker. And as soon as the blade, these fold up, switch to that and just take a picture of the planet. And let's get out of here real quick. And there's our space station that we're aiming for. Right there. We're not going to hit it just right, but Yeah, another asteroid field. Isn't that nice? So we need to hit this next. Because of the arrangement of things. We're going to go to the low atmosphere planet next and take a picture there. And then we're going to hit the ice planet and create a base. 13 minutes. A little bit longer than I'd want. I would have liked to have gotten off that planet 
faster. Two or three minutes faster, I think. So if things go right, we're going to learn some words here. Oof, I almost didn't make it. So we need to learn all nine. That's one. And two. And there's a guy back there. We'll take him. Three. Okay. This guy over here. Four. And guess what we're also going to be taking while we're here? So I got four words. I want a chart. Specific. I want to get a commercial chart. Commercial, secret, emergency, game lead. Yes, commercial. I'm going to get three of those. And I'll show you what I'll do with them later. This is word five. I think we've already talked to him, yes. This is six. Seven. We need two more words. We've got to get all nine. While we're here, we're going to sell from our exosuit all but one of these. We're keeping the rest of that. Uh, back to our exosuit inventory. Just make sure there's nothing over there. Um, ooh, we haven't even opened those up yet. That was stupid. Okay, we're going to sell that and sell the geodesite. Crystal sulfide. A living slime, we don't get much money for, but we're getting it out of our inventory in Geodesite. We're going to buy, we have about 986,000 now. We need all of four of these. Got them all. Come up to here, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. We've already got fought, fought one uh, as well. I'm going to get three more metal plates because I need them. And I think that's it. We're going to get the cobalt, I think, later if we need it. I want to see if I can't find some ionized. All right. What about you? I've already visited. Okay. This is eight. Okay. And where's our little Gek dude? He should be number nine. There he is. Okay. That's nine. Let's hit one of these guys up, because there's other stuff we need. Uh, cobalt. He's got more chromatic, but we shouldn't need it. Or the uranium, believe it, believe it or not. Okay. Hit you. We should, I was hoping to get to the fighter next, but that's okay. Tritium magnetized oxide. He has nothing we need. There is gold there. That would probably be not a bad idea. I might grab that, because we could use a little extra. And he has silver. That's good. We don't need much. I'm going to get about 100. It's good. Uh, we don't need any of that. Well, I'm going to grab this guy's gold because we do need some. Not much again. We 50 to 100. That's about it. That should be good. Okay. We're done with that. That's my ship, and that's pretty much everything. There's nothing in the back I need, and again, I'm going to hold off on the Cobalt for now. We're going to be going to another space station, so I'm not going to worry too, too much about it. We'll rearrange our inventory here shortly. That's the, the planet we're going to be making our base on, but we need to hit... Where is it? Up here. That planet right there for just a moment. Because it is a low-atmosphere planet. While we're on our way, let's rearrange things just a little bit. I'm going to keep certain things in that inventory, like the silver and that. And we are running into a little bit of a problem on some of the planets in regards to certain things. So, like, the base computer when we set it up doesn't work well for some reason, and we don't know why. There we go. Starship. I'm going to start repairs. I don't have copper yet. I do need some. But we will get it as as a reward, and we can use that. Okay, just get a little further in. Okay. 
and right back out again. And that's our planet we're going to go to. So now we have two pictures and we're done. Now we don't want to repair everything yet. I'm going to get everything but one on each of these. Like I need the copper and I don't have it. I do have the magnetized ferret and I'm going to wait. I'm going to try something and see if it works. We do have a carbon nanotube. We'll use that. We do have silver. I'm going to wait on that. We do have dihydrogen and we need sodium nitrate. Okay, so we're all set. We don't really need to rearrange anything. We're not installing anything, so I'm not too, too worried. I will move some of this stuff around just because it's in the way. And I want to make room for our hyperdrive. Okay, now we are heading what looks like towards a base. I'm not worried about it. Here's where this is going to come in handy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to do a quick scan when I get towards the planet. Okay, we do have something right there, but I need a trading outpost. Remember those charts I got? Where'd they go? There they are. I need a trading outpost. I would like for it to tell me, minor settlement, that's great, we don't need that. That's why I got more than one. Transmission tower doesn't help me at all. I'm hoping for... For a trade outpost. And it detects a shelter. Minor settlement will have to do. I was hoping for a trading outpost because we really need... The trading outpost because that helps us get certain items. A lot of the, the people that land there are or have the possibility of carrying cactus and fungal mold. And that's what got me in my really fast run last time. Just making sure there wasn't around. But the minor settlement gives us a second opportunity for other things. I'm not worried about multi-tools. Okay, let's get out. Got to get the reward. So the first thing we're going to do is collect our reward. Okay, we're going to put a base computer down. Okay, we'll get that. Now, what it should do is it should give us the second portion of it, but we will see. So I'm going to try something real quick. I can't repair that yet, but I can repair this. And I can repair this. Let's see if it works. Scavenger. Does collecting it help? We got our 300 nanites. Still hasn't triggered it. Okay, so it isn't working. What we're going to have to do is it's it's glitched. We have to reload. And hopefully this works. We're going to keep the clock running. It's important to do so. So let's see what happens. Should pop in in just a moment. Eventually, right? There it goes. Okay. Now, we do need to scan some animals and stuff like that. So we are going to do that. I also need to look for one other item, and hopefully we'll be having one nearby. Not the buried tech. We need the other one. There it is. Salvage container. And there's an animal while we're waiting. Oh, how far is that one? A little further out. There's a second animal. We need two more if we can find them, but I'm not going to hold my breath just yet because they don't usually show up here. Go to the expedition real quick. Establishing your home base. I'm hoping that it kicks it into play once it goes from my screen.
One more time. Not working really well, is it? While we're here, there is one more thing I needed to do. Check the terminal. In case there's something I can buy here. Bugnium. Excellent. I need a hundred of that. We're not going to get it in a timely fashion. Not in the same way that they usually, usually get it. I'll take more ferrite just in case. And I do need to hit this guy up for a couple things. First components, and what we're interested in is if he has it, and he doesn't, I will grab four of these. I was hoping he would have... Oh, here it is, solar mirror. Yes, excellent. And we do need both hermetic seals. I'll grab those. Excellent. And he has one more thing I need. An advanced mining laser. Which we are going to get. There we go. And that should do it. Back to our expedition real quick. Make sure we can select this again. It is not working. I don't know why. Is there anything I can put down here? Can I put down... I can't make... My... I can make a, I can make antimatter. One, two, three. What do I need? Condensed carbon. Okay, well, let's get that going first. Maybe something will trigger this to start working. I know. And we need to make two of these. Let's make a warp cell, two, and we're going to put down a wonder projector. Still can't get the base computer to work. I don't know what it is about the base computer that doesn't work this way. That's something I haven't done yet. We do need that. Okay, so this is going to end up being a bust if we can't get the base computer to kick in. going to try something real quick. It's wasting way too much time. I should have been done by now. And we're going to have to report this as a bug that the, for some reason the base computer putting it down does not seem to be working.
Any more animals? Is that? Landed pilot over there. Interesting. Okay, let me try one last thing. Because we do need to do this anyway. We needed 35, if I remember correctly. Twenty-five. Nope. Not triggering. So well, this is a bust. I'm going to try one last thing, and then we're giving up on this run. Let's see if this works. Again, we'll keep the timer going. I have a mod added to get rid of pulse lines, so you're going to see that information showing up in here in just a moment. Okay, see, we've already got 21 minutes in. I should be at like 15 at this point, so there's a problem. Let's see what happens. It may have something to do with being near a minor settlement, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. There it goes. So there it is. Leaving and coming back seems to have done it. So we're going to continue this one. At least we can see exactly what we needed to do to get this to work. Straight corridor. One, two. One more cylindrical room. We want a doorway. I'm going to put there. Two ramps. One and two. Because I would put one, but that's okay. While we're in here, we're going to go over here. I'm going to put my landing pad over here. Because we have it. We are going to do one, two of these. Then we got to go to power, drop a couple batteries down, which I'm going to do. One, two. Then two solar units. One, two. And the cargo containers we're going to put over here. There we go. One and two. Now we get to rename our base. Done. Base has been established. We are going to select it. 
because we need that. You see, we get two, we get 150 copper out of that too. And you have to do it, so do it. And now we can repair the rest of our ship. Hyperdrive. We already got the parts for it. We already got the hypercells for it. We do need two more animals, as I mentioned. And I am going to head towards the... Wow, okay, it's not showing. Should be somewhere in this general area. I guess I had to find it again. 752, but there should be one a lot closer than that. There it is, 169. That's the one we wanted. Ooh. And we get ourselves a bonus. Get them before the sentinels show up and complain about it. Since we're here, we need a bunch of this, so I'm going to go ahead and gather as much as I can for now. Need about 800. And I'll get the 900. done. Okay. Any animals I haven't uh, scanned yet? One. And I know there's one bird on this planet, but I haven't seen him yet. And that didn't uh, spark anybody to come visit either. Oh, that was all my animals. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to our ship. Almost didn't make it. Grab some more sodium just because it's there. And we're on our ship. So we've got everything done up to this point. Now normally I'm out of here about the 25 minute mark. So we're going to see how this works out. But at least you'll get a viewpoint of how this is done. So we have everything done up to this part. We do have these two phases done. We need this. And do we need this one? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's all completed. Uh, anything else we need to complete? Let me just take a look here. we got to grow the base later. We're going to be coming back a second time, but I've discovered something that will help us out a little bit. We will manufacture this later. Nine words, excellent. Okay, yeah, we're in excellent shape. So we're going to warp to a new system. Let's go ahead and get that done. Now, I go by the system path. I know that somebody else looks for the pirate system first. Just go the system path. You will have opportunity to hit a pirate system later on, and it's not going to save you much time by doing it their way. Now, we got some nice items that we can sell. Keep that in mind. If we need to buy anything else. But we got the copper we need. We got pretty much all the elements that we need, except ionized cobalt. It's the only one we never got. So you're going to hear me tell you something that you are going to be surprised to hear. Do not answer the call from Nada. There we go. Right there. Ignore the frequency call. Not just when we enter the station either. Ignore it when you leave. Okay, I'm not going to worry about getting words from anybody. I'm merely here to do one thing. I need to go in here. I need a hyperspace upgrade. Just one. First thing we got to do is sell what we've got. We're going to sell the mining beam, the scanner, the Humboldt drive, the life support module, the prepacked optical drill, this and this. We're just getting rid of all of it. We're going to buy one. Well, we don't really need to buy that. We just need to get our hyperdrive. But we can grab a pulse engine, and I'll show you a little trick here. First, we're going to install this. 
that gives us a boost we're going to install that and uninstall it to get us 75 cadmium and we're going to purchase one more and that's a c-class pulse engine module and we're going to install that and uninstall it to get us 150 and we got extra wiring looms out of it as well we need to hit the trade terminal I don't know if this carries what I remember it carrying. We may just grab the cobalt. Nope, it does have the ionized cobalt. So we need about 120 of it, but I'll grab 150. It's fine. We don't need any more copper, but if you want to grab some more, you can. You notice I'm not doing well on stuff. We're going to get rid of the tarnished seal, which we just collected. We need more dihydrogen. We can turn the stuff that we have into it. Get rid of those two. All right, what else can we grab? Anything? Anything? Nope, think we're done. Good. We need dihydrogen. We got our ionized cobalt. We could use salt. Salt is an optional item I really, really wanted to get. So we'll check with these guys. Maybe one of these guys has it before we leave. We got Pugnium already. He doesn't carry anything else, and that guy just left. Let's see if we can get this guy before he leaves. Pugnium. Nope. Cut the same stuff. And there's nobody else. So we're going to go ahead and get going. We will get salt later, so it's not a problem. And again, ignore the frequency from, Polo, from, from Nada. And head on your merry little way. And you're still going to ignore him when you get here. You're going to head on to the expedition location. Because you would have had to pull it in anyway to find the Atlas. So we're going to do both Anomaly missions at one time. And you will never have to go back to the Anomaly again. And then we're going to use the Anomaly in a trick. Okay, our... Hold on a second. I've got to select it. There we go should be right there. There it is. Okay, on our way. While we're in here, we can check things out, make sure we don't have any new rewards to collect. Do we need this? Movement system upgrade. And Starship launch fuel. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. Because we could always use a little more movement system upgrades. And we'll go ahead and move these around while we can. There we go. That'll help us out quite a bit. We need, uh, we'll need we need to do that later on, so we'll worry about that later. We don't really need our Minotaur. We're going to go ahead and get rid of it. I know that's crazy sounding, but we don't need it. Okay. We have anything else in our starship we can move around? We will need you. The hydrothermal fuel cell we won't need. I'll leave it there for now. We're going to need the salvage data, but just the one. Okay, looks like we got some gold. We should have enough. We are not aiming properly because it looks like we're heading towards a base. Wow, yeah, we were really far away from the uh, rendezvous. Let's boost our engines real quick so we can get there just a little bit quicker every second counts here because of how long it's taking there we go so you saw the bug with the base computer so yeah unfortunately that's something we all have to deal with there we go I like to land on this spot specifically if a pilot lands we're going to go ahead and check him out real quick and see if he has anything we can use that gets us our achievement for the rendezvous. We're going to scan a plant. We're going to scan a, uh, the rock. There we go. And we'll zoom in on this guy and scan them. Okay, we've got all three. What we're looking for is this. I will grab some of that too. There we go. 
We'll check this guy out if we can get the captain to stop standing. Look at that cactus flesh. So we got a hundred of each. Oh, did he have what I think he had? Oh, I thought he had Mordite. I was about to say, oh my gosh. Feceum is a good thing to get too, if you have anybody that has Feceum. Anybody down there? Nope, he doesn't have any. Okay. So we got a hundred of each. That's going to really help us out. Having a hundred more fungal mold would help us out greatly. So do we want to stay and hang out and grab it? That's what it boils down to. Because having a hundred is fantastic. I could use two hundred. That's what I really, really need. Okay. Got a good amount of silicate powder. You know what we can do while we're waiting? Let's grab that. And get that moving along. And if something lands, we can grab some stuff. There it is. 13. We need just one more. There. And we got a ship that landed. Ah. He doesn't have anything. I was hoping for one more ship to land. This is almost done. Once it's done, we'll go ahead and get going. It sounds like a little bit of a waste, but... I don't think there's a platform over here. No. Okay, good. Just making sure. We'll check out one more set of ships, because it really would help me out if somebody else had fungal mold. So this will give us all the glass we need for when we build our base later. And we also could use... How much condensed carbon we got? I like an even number. Wow, I can't believe nobody else has landed. This is really, really strange. Usually more than enough land at this facility. Okay, so we'll just hold off on that. Maybe we'll get lucky at the next spot. Okay, somebody is coming in for a landing. We are done with that. I'm going to check this last couple pilots out and then we're out of here. VCM, excellent. We need probably about 50 of that. Not really much at all, actually. No, oh, that'll be enough. Thank you. That'll turn into Mordite. Now we don't have to kill any animals. Well, I don't know if I can get to both of these guys in time. Let me see what happens. Especially if they're talkers. He doesn't have anything. Nope, didn't get to him in time. Okay, so that is going to do it for this. So we'll have to just deal with what we've got and get going, but we were able to manufacture what we needed this time around. So let's get going. So remember that uh, voice from the stars? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. Now we're going to do some things here with the Anomaly that not too many people do. So the point is, we're going to hit through the full first missions with the Anomaly. We're going to visit all the stations we need to. 
but we're going to collect certain items. Now, we already have the hazmat gauntlets, if I'm not mistaken, so we can put them in now. We should have everything to put it in. Excellent. There's something else we need. We need all the items we need to build the liquid explosives with. So we're going to make sure we get those. And we need... We already got the A-class upgrade for our advanced mining laser for our multi-tool. Okay, done with Nada. We will have to talk to Nada one more time. Okay, thank you, Polo. Let's move on. Okay. First thing we have to do is talk to this guy. We just got to get into his inventory and get out. Set. Get this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And grab your ceiling light. Talk to this guy. Um, no, actually, yes, we do need to talk to him. Because we're going to get... We've already got the hazmat guants. We're going to get the personal refiner. We have the nanites, and that's the whole purpose behind having the nanites. We've already got the advanced mining laser. If we didn't, we'd get it from him. Go to the right. Get your acid. Lubricant. Unstable gel, and then the liquid explosive. And you're done here. So now we got the... Now you do get the personal refiner later as, an, as a reward, but you're going to need it earlier, so get it now. You can get it, so you might as well. You got to talk to Helios, so while you're here, turn in the flora. Or minerals, whatever you want to do. He's not going to give you much for the minerals, see? But Ares will give you a lot more. And transit milestone data. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could get your pulse, your C class pulse engine upgrades from him. You get two of those from him and you're done. Install them and take them out. We do have to hit the Nexus real quick. Just get out of it. Run over to the pad over here. If your run juice is running low like mine did, just fly low to the ground. Hit the portal, and you're going to be coming back here in just a couple minutes, because you're going to go to your home base from here. That's it, and you're done with the anomaly, as far as that mission's concerned. So quickly jump out into your phase two and witness the atlas. Select that, and go down here and hit Nada again. So you get two of those missions taken care of in one shot while you're in the anomaly. And that's it. And he'll show you where the, where the Atlas places are. But don't go back to your ship. Go back to the portal. Go back to your home base. Make sure you select your bases, or else you're going to select something you don't want. Now, the key to this is that when you get here, do all the base things that you need to do, and then immediately return back to the Anomaly. Do not get in your ship. I made that mistake before. Eventually, you'll get out of this. There we go. Hi there. Welcome back. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back into here. We're going to go to the phase two and select grow your base. And now it's going to give you all the options to build the rest of your base. You want to start with angled windows, which you should have all the materials for in the recipe. And then we want to produce some glass roofed corridors. So I'm going to build them over here. You need three of them. One, two, three. They're going to get in the way of everything. You'll need a biodome. Put it up there. You're going to need it to tell you what's next because for some reason it's not doing it uh what do we need wall screens and the octa cabinet so let's get the wall screens going that's going to be here you want the blue one one two three you need the octa cabinet drop it down anywhere you want you'll need a chair you'll need a table those two specifically and i think that's it oh the ceiling light that you purchased earlier which you get over here 
And there it is. It does that for some time to time. I don't know why. And you're done. So let's go over our expedition first of all. Phase one is completed. You don't need this unless you really need the nanites. But you could use the warp cells. Maybe. So I usually grab it anyway. And it fills in some of the gaps. Go ahead and grab the second one if you want to get those gaps filled in in your inventory. They're annoying as baloney, all baloney. Go ahead and put this in your storage containers. You don't need it. You might as well just get rid of it. Um, while you're getting all this, real quick, drop your refiner down. I probably should have done this before. Throw your feceum in there. Uh, I'm going to grab the carbon. And you only need 25. So just let it count up to 25 real quick and you should be good. Any other things you need to look at? Um, so phase one is complete. You can get this if you want. It's not necessary. Phase two, we've already witnessed. we got to witness the atlas, so that's our next thing to do. But remember, do not leave here. You can get all this stuff. See, there's your prepackaged uh, personal refiner unit. We've already got it. Okay, so we're done with that because we grew our base. All right, so just ignore that. You don't need it for now. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to witness the atlas, but we got a way of doing so. Oh, it went ahead and completed on us. There we go. Now, I'm going to lay that back down again because I don't need it. I can get this off my screen. There we go. So we are done. Okay, we want to visit the Atlas, but guess what we can do in this menu? We can return to the Space Anomaly. Do that. Because the Atlas system you want to go to has is a dissident system, and it has the ship you want to get. Now, hopefully you have all the items you need. Uh, you're not going to have salt yet at this point, probably. If you don't, you're going to get some from the next planet that you go to after the Atlas. The Atlas is going to send you to the planet. So here we are. We're back in the anomaly, and you're placed right next to your ship. Off we go. See how quick that was? Much, much better than any other way you want to go. Learned that in the last expedition. Get away from the anomaly. Go to hyperspace. You still have enough juice to go to your next location, which is not to a black hole, but there you go. Yellow bar. That's where you want to head to. That's the place. Because it's also a dissonant system. We are going to hit the atlas first before we go anywhere else. Unlike the last expedition where you could hit the atlas and do all the things, at, all the atlas missions at once, you have to do it in separate entities here, unfortunately. And it looks like we're not making much progress. And you're looking at the time and saying, man, he's almost been at this for an hour. Now, remember, we had some problems with the base computer. So we're not going to hit that 104 time that we wanted to. So. There we go. We're at the Atlas. This is a good time while you're going in to check out any of these rewards you should be getting. Again, we don't need them, so we're good. <laughs> Select Witness the Atlas. Make sure you have it selected when you get in here. Now, remember we learned nine words, correct? You will always learn two on the main platform up here. So when you visit the Atlas twice, you learn four more words. So that gives you a total of 13. And we need 15 words, correct? Uh, 16 words. I'll show you where the other three can be. Taken. So there's the first one, Atlas. The second one is down here, which is Traveler. You could run around to all the other spots, too, and try to see if you can find more. But that's going to waste more time. Okay, just get through this. You want to select... When it gets to here, resist. Do not select Surrender. It will send you to a different planet. Select Resist. Okay. Now the planet it sends you to has plants on it that have salt on them. Don't scan them, just grab the salt. And then I'm going to teach you the second thing. Remember we needed cactus still, we need about a hundred of that. Wish we could have gotten more from the trading platform, that would have eliminated any reason to stay on this planet. But we're going to stay for a couple extra moments on there and I'll show you why. There we go. 
and there's the reason why. So do this, immediately call in your ship. Don't run to it. It already has plenty of stuff in it. I don't know why it does that. There we go, and we need 100 more of this. So there's 100. Okay, we're good. we're good. We should have everything we need, right? Starship, let's check. There it is, 254, so we're ready. You shouldn't have to recharge your life support more than one time. Drop your nutrient processor down, and go ahead and create the biscuits that you're supposed to create in a later episode. Later milestone. You only need one flower. Then grab the cactus that you just grabbed, and again, you only want one. Okay, put it back in. Create the sugar. Drop it in. Grab the flour you just made. That gives you your dough. And finally, you can put any substance in here. I'm going to put Mordite. It's gross. It makes a questionable biscuit. And you're done. And there's your palate cleanser. Mission completed. So you're done with that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our inventory and we're going to clear them out later. Just leave the nutrient processor. You're never going to use it again. It just clogs up your inventory anyway. Nope, I forgot to get the salt. See? See? Waste of time. This thing takes so long to land. And it's these swirly little plants right there. That you, that you These are the ones you need. You need 100, so you probably need, need at least two plants. One. So that gave us 52. Two. And that should get us... That gets us 81. That stinks. We need 99. Okay, how much did we get? 122. We're done. Now we can go. You need the salt, unfortunately. Alright. So, first things first, we're going to get out of this atmosphere. Look for the planet that has rings and the little moon to the right of it. With the base on it, Natrium 1. Start heading in that direction. Go into your inventory and create this. Tab out, tab back in, and select it. Immediately go through the dialog. And if you can, time it right. Immediately go in here, collect the reward, hit the tab button, and create your second item, which is this one. Pulse drive. If you can get it to respond, go in here, select it, and wait. Three, four, five. Now. This is the second item. Same concept. If you can get the timing right. There we go. And we should collect that one here. And get into your menu. And you'll notice we're running out of room fast in our starship. I'm going to move these stuff over to my exosuit real quick. We can make the third one. See, there's your dihydrogen, your ionized cobalt that you needed. And the cadmium. Create that. Get into pulse drive. And out and in. One, two, three, four, five. Any seconds going to pop up. There we go. And you're just doing these all the way to that planet. Same concept. You can get out real quick. It's in phase four. Deep glass. Get back in. Move this over. Create your last one, which you should have. Pugnium condensed carbon, which hopefully you've gotten enough of in the gold that we needed. And same concept. One, two, three, four, five. Now. Good. And we're really close to the planet. We've got it. We got a time just right this time. And same concept. We almost had it. We're just going to go straight into our menu here. Let's move some stuff around. We need the pulse drive. I'll just go ahead and put that over there. Do we need this? Yeah, I'll put it in here for now. 
Okay, this is, where's our carrier AI? I think it's in our other inventory. There it is. Select it, and that's where you're headed. And now you have, you're going to get your Sentinel chip. There's a bug with the Sentinel ship, keep in mind. That sometimes it doesn't work, and you have to exit the game. Alright, so... Go ahead and select it and grab the stuff out of it. If you can get it. Okay. If there's no storm going on, look around for your... For that. It doesn't look like we're in a, in a storm. It looks like we might be. So you got to pay close attention or you will lose your shields too quickly. Mining beam. Get these things from far enough. You need three of these. One of them is Atlanta DM, so you got to be careful. Darn it. He may start shooting. Nope, maybe not. Okay. Okay, we're not going to worry about fighting him now. Now, the next thing we need is an, uh, one of the mirrors. We're going to have to fly for this one, unfortunately. Not you. This is a moon, so everything should be really close by. So just watch your radar up above until you find what you're looking for. And they're really easy to see on this landscape. You should see them sticking up pretty quick. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Yep, there he is up there. So we're going to go over here to this hill. And I'm going to pull out my bolt caster. And... Hopefully he's got what we're looking for. I think we got him. Echolocator didn't help me at all. There. Okay. They're abating. Good. You should have plenty of launch fuel. Now, a lot of people don't take the, the Sentinel ship with them. I recommend doing so. Another echolocator. Go figure. I can't get those things to save my life, but today I'm going to get get them every single time I hit these things. Mirror, finally. Let him finish looking. Ugh. Found me. I thought I was far enough away that they wouldn't find me. And done. Back to your ship. If you want, grab one more radiant shard. Kind of handy. In here, go to your main inventory and select the Hylian Brain. And go to where it directs you. That might be the ship. Nope, ancient site. So that's where you want to go. Remember those three words we needed? This is where you're getting them from. So far we haven't had a storm, which is kind of nice.
First time you're hitting this, so you're gonna get this particular dialogue. Okay. Uh, it's not over here. Let's grab this one. And grab the last one. This gives you three more words. You got two more left, and you will get them at the last atlas. And you get these a lot quicker than you get anything else. So we got our green that we need, and we're going back to the ship. seconds away. Okay. We need the gold. Bring it with you. You're going to need the fungal mold. Bring anything else you want to bring with you. Cadmium, I don't think we need, but I'll break it anyway. We don't need the Ticket to Freedom, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, antimatter? That's interesting. Um, navigation data. Launch fuel, battery. We need the solar. Here, we're going to need the wiring looms. I think we're going to need that too, but we're out of room. So we may have to make one quick stop at this thing when we're done. Okay, we're going to compare, we're going to claim, we're going to get in the ship to protect ourselves. If I can get myself to get into the ship, there we go. Don't worry about moving everything around. The only thing I would move around is your hyperdrive, which you're going to, you know, worry about later. Move things into the inventory you don't need to carry in this inventory. The warp cells are very handy, so is that... Echo locators, really? Uh, that stuff, chromatic metal. These don't need to be in here. This doesn't need to be here. We can get rid of that. We're going to keep the cactus flesh and the mordite. We're going to need those. Uh, okay, that should be good. For now. Okay. Now, we do need the hyperspace upgrade. Well, we don't really need them, do we? Nope, we don't. Let's get going. If we need them, we can pull the ship in later. Now, we got a storm going on anyway. Okay, we're done. Let's get out of here. Now, your inclination at this point is to go to Rendezvous 2 and finish it out. What we're going to do is we're actually going to proceed through a black hole, but first we're going to stop at a pirate system. You remember that thing that we said we didn't need, the ticket to freedom? Why don't we need it? If you unselect this and scroll down here, you have a system that's already selected for you. But we have hyperdrive, it has no fuel in it, i got to do that real quick. My bad. I should have known. There we go. Let's do that. And down here. To Lichno is where you want to go. And it is marked clearly on your on your map. Use it. Now we're at an hour 12. I think we're going to be close at about 45 minutes right about now. Real game time. We don't have much further to go. It seems like we do, but we really don't. A lot of things are just going to just fall into our laps. You'll notice I haven't fought the Sentinels yet. I'll show you how to beat them in about four minutes. While we're going in, let's check out our things that we can get. Uh, there's nothing we need out of that, including the efficient thrusters. You really don't need it. We already got the memory of ocean. I forgot to select this, but that's okay. We could use the warp hypercore and the supreme hyperdrive update. That's okay. We don't need that. Let's go on to three. We don't need. We haven't gotten anything there. Do we need this? If you need the money, grab it because the biological sample is worth quite a bit. So we'll grab that. Okay. So that's four. We don't need forbidden suit, forbidden multi tool, that that DM. The cadmium drive you're not going to need. The hexite you won't need. Okay, so we're done here. So we're going to do a couple different things here. Watch this. And yeah, let's move some of that stuff over to our other inventory. Let's put you in. We don't need you. I'm going to sell that. 
Eh, I'll put it in my exosuit. Can't hurt. We're not gonna we're not gonna need the nanites anymore. Get this guy and get your stuff that you need, but before you do, sell off the things you don't. Where'd he go? There it is. Two million, see? And then come back in and buy all the illegal black market stuff. While you're in here, grab some dihydrogen. And if you really need it, the Mordite can be purchased here as well. But we've already got that, plus the ionized cobalt. A lot of times it'll have both of these in the inventory, but we've already got what we need. So, we're done. Let's get back in our ship and head out. So, we've got illegal goods. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to sell them at a good system. Well, to do that, we got to go to hyperspace. And before we do that, we want to go to a black hole. Path selected, black hole. Let's go up and go to our black hole system, which should be, yes, Havalapai. But somebody named it Poland for some reason. I don't know why. So head there. Now, if you need more fungal mold, this is the place to get it. Unfortunately, I gotta, I'm going to have to take a couple of minutes to get the fungal mold. Because I need 100. I'm short. So, go around the black hole and head for the planet right behind it. That's the space station. It's not going to help you any. But you're going to use the space station, so don't go too far. Stay on this side of the planet. Going to get back to the engines here. Everything should generate pretty quickly. Fungal mold is no different from any other plant that it should grow or show up quicker on your inventory. That's not fungal mold. You're going to, it's distinguishable by the little bright little lights that are hanging from each of the fungus branches. So look for a gathering of them somewhere. And again, we don't need much. We need a small outcrop of them. And this is the problem, finding it. This is what takes us the time that we don't have to do this. Why I wanted to get it at the landing station there. And it should generate quicker than any other plant. Up oh, there it is, right in front of us. See the shininess? The little lights on them? Those are the ones. So we got how much? We have 109. We need at least 91. They don't give us much from each plant, but that's okay. 79, 109. We've already got what we need. Go. So if you need sodium, there's a sodium patch right there, but we're good. Okay. Back out. Get out of the atmosphere first. See the space station? Look just a little bit above it. Aim your ship and you're going to see that there's the black hole. You can still see it from here. And we're going to head straight for it. Now my last one, I had everything from a trading post. So I didn't have to land in any planet to pick up what I needed. So this is the only delay I'm going to have here. Everything else should go smooth from here on out. All right, we're good. So we go through the black hole. We land at the first space station we come to, which is a really cool looking system. We sell the goods, and then we use the portal to go back to our home base. And then we jump out. We just immediately leave our home base. No reason to stay. Just leave. See what I mean about it being cool? You're between two asteroid fields. Just curve around the right hand one. There's your space station. There's the achievement of Black Hole. All right. Let's take a quick look. Again, one is complete. We don't need anything. Two is almost complete. we got to go to Rendezvous 2 next, so let's select it and get it ready. We don't need any of these things. We've got the Black Hole. We don't need the stuff that's in it. You could, If you need the chromatic metal later, do it. You're done here. Three is complete. Not complete, but we got some things. We're gonna fight. We're gonna sell the contraband now. We're gonna make the liquid explosive, which we can do as we're landing, real quick. So we need unstable gel. We need the acid, which is right here, and then we need the liquid explosive, and we're done.
There it is. Assembly required. All taken care of. And in a more efficient fashion. I wish I could have finished it real quick, but that's okay. Sell the Gragra. First Bone Relics. The Nip Nip Bugs. And if you want to, get rid of the Liquid Explosive. I just don't feel comfortable flying around with it. You don't need the Mordite anymore. You've just used it. Same thing with the Cactus Flesh and the Fungal Mold. Just sell it. Get rid of it. That way your inventory is a little bit opened up. Your smuggling run is done. Back to the terminal. And you're going to go see... This is my base. I just like to make certain that it is. There it is. Let's go. Why are we going back to our base? You've just jumped 438,000 light years across the galaxy. That's probably in the neighborhood of about 70 jumps to get back to Rendezvous 2. Or you can go back to your base through this portal... Go to the out of the atmosphere and you make one jump. A little bit smarter to do it this way. And you've completed several milestones at the same time. And if you did forget anything at your home base, like the salvageable scrap or to dig up some artifacts or something like that, here you are. Okay, so again, let's get out of this while it's there. Okay, so we want to go to Rendezvous 2. There we go. Right there. Nothing more to do here. Let's get out of here. Select your expedition path. And you should be able to make it in one jump. There you go. Much better that way. We're at 120 right now. So we should be able to get to the Sentinel battle by 1.30 in about 10 more minutes. The Sentinel battle is only going to take us about 3 or 4 minutes. And we'll get out of there. We'll hit the last Atlas location. We'll hit the Anomalous Animal location. And then we'll be done. We have some jumping around to do first, though. Okay. Rendezvous 2 is right there. Shouldn't take long to get there, so don't bother going into any menus to look for stuff. I always try to divert power to engines to get me there just a little bit quicker. There it is, right there. Looking for a portal. Almost came to a stop. Went way past it. And out to the outskirts real quick. Scan a tree. Scan a rock. And by now animals should start appearing. Okay, there we go. Done. You're curious? Double check your expedition. Look at number two and you'll see rendezvous two is completed. Go to three. You'll notice three is complete. We just got to go to a rendezvous three now. Get in your ship and go. I can't get in. I don't know why. There we go. Expedition is all the way over here. Again, one jump. Now, before, when you get to four... On your way to 4, you're going to build out your Atlas Staff, which is going to have your Neutron Cannon on it, which will allow you to fight Sentinels at Location 5. Now, what we should have gotten... I don't know if I got that. I'll have to check. There we go. Right up there. I'll check my inventory here in a minute. This one's a little further away. Yep, Echo Locator doesn't help us at all. Not what I'm trying to do. Okay, yeah. Put the shield in, I guess it's not gonna harm us having it down there. Okay, what about over here? Nope. One thing I want to check is I want to see if any of these give us a certain reward. No. Finer. Nope. 
already got that, I thought, but okay. Companion egg, quicksilver, nanites, multi engine three slots. We don't need that. Movement upgrade, we do need that, actually. Anomaly detector, we don't need. Okay. Over here. Cadmium drive, urban multi-tool. Exosuit, nope, we don't need any of that. And over here. Nope, we don't need any of that. I thought one of these gave us another fragment I'm looking for. Which is a... Device to look for a... Sentinel... Sentinel boundary map, yeah, that's what we needed, but we don't get it here. Okay, I thought we got it in another mission. That's okay. We're going to three, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. All right. Not a problem. I thought I might use it on planet four since it's a paradise planet. That way we can pull in sentinels at a location and fight them there with less opportunity to be in the middle of a storm. Wow, I got nearly lined up perfectly. So this is number three. Three is going to be a crashed freighter as you can see it from orbit right now. Bring it in for a landing. Do we get our Supreme Movement upgrade in this? We did. We kind of need that. I'm going to move it over. Okay, out we go. Out we go. That gets us our rendezvous. Set over here towards the water. Focus on those first, the inorganic material there, the bug creatures as they pop out of the water. Logical entity, and there's a plant over here in this general area. There we go. And we get our optional. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do here. Head out. Go straight into hyperspace, and you're going to go to the expedition route. There we go. And you're going on to number four. And as you're on your way in system four to the um, rendezvous itself, accept the uh, main reward for number three to get your Atlas staff, and you can use the Neutron Cannon to fight some of the guys, the Sentinels, at number five. I think it's over here. I gotta select it though, don't I? Yes, I do. There it is. Go in here, go back to number three, select the collect reward, Atlas Scepter. Scepter. Compare, take. You can get in there eventually. Move this stuff down over here. Don't worry about the rest of this. It's not important. So now we're ready. I don't think we're aimed right. Looks like we might be, but I don't think that's true. We'll see in a moment. I hate to take that moment to do that, but... Yeah, close enough. Every time you warp to a new system, you do have to divert your power back to engines again. Should be over here on the left. Right there. There it is, the portal. You're going to do a few things here. you got a couple things to do here. This will give us our rendezvous because we're in a good spot for it. So we now have it. Move, look over here towards the rocks that appear. There's one. One. Go back the other way over here and grab a plant. You have to aim at the trunk. And then anything that's flying. Before you come out of there, look across the water. A known grave. Select that. Fly over there. Do not jetpack over there. 
take you way too long. And this ship lands so much faster than that solar ship. It would still be landing. Let's put it that way. And we're done with the Traveler. Fallen is complete. We are done with four. And if you're curious, we'll take a look real quick. Let's take a quick look. One is done, two is done, three is done, four is almost done. We have to visit the site of a sunken freighter, so we have to do that now. So it's going to be take us an extra couple seconds. Head to another area of the planet that has some water at it that you know there's not going to be any bases blocking you. And we'll do it here. I shouldn't have even blasted off on the planet. I just need a watery area. Something that looks deep enough. This looks deep enough over here. Might be deep enough. I don't know. If it's not, make it deep enough. There we go. And then... Take an auto in chamber and place it down in there. Now hopefully you have all the in things on you to build what you need to build, which is this. Yeah, we got it. We just need that, right? Exit. Pick up the item there. Get back in. It'll give you four, four crystal sulfides, and you've got this built. Hit X. Use the sonar. Scan for the freighters. Exit. Go back to your ship. Don't even bother looking. And go where it directs you. Over there, how far? More than a minute. We're going to the upper atmosphere. So this is going to take us a little bit longer. It's going to take us a few minutes. Oh, yep. I just messed that up one more time. There we go. Back to engines. Okay, now this one doesn't appear... Oh, it does appear to be sticking up above the water. I'm going to land up here. It won't let me land. I don't know why. It usually lets me land here. Use your jetpack. Get down there a little quicker. Go through the dialogue. It just takes a couple moments. This is why it takes so long, unfortunately. So we're probably going to hit the Sentinels in about 134. And that's where I ended my last run. So this is going to be a longer run. But, as you can see, you can get it done in just over an hour. One more dialogue. There it is. Uh, ship. Get rid of that, because you can't see what you're doing. And just head to one side or the other of this. And let your jetpack jet charge just before you get there. And you can run up the whole side of this. Including that. There you go, see? And you're back. And you're done with the Fallen Giants. You need that, by the way, to get to number five. So, first things first, we're going to go in here to four Fallen Giants. Find that. That gives you... Is it Fallen Giants? No, no, no. The Fallen. That gives you your specialized warp blueprints. And you want to go into your ship. Make your indium drive, which you now have the emerald and the wiring looms for. And go back into hyperspace. Expedition. There we go. Over here. And it's a blue star. And that will give you your blue star achievement. As well as get you moving to Rendezvous 5. So we're going to name this the Speedrun Training Manual.
Okay, and your expedition is straight in front of you where that base is. We're going to have to go to phase five and choose the final rendezvous to get it to pop up. Little expanse has been achieved. There we go. I think we're locked in now. Okay. All right. So, that said, looks like we have everything we need to get this done. We don't need to do anything else up here. I may add something to that so we can take off again. And we are going to fight Sentinels here, too. Okay. I came out a little too soon. It's going to take us a couple extra seconds to get down here. See, 134, not quite 135 is where we're coming in now. And it should be up on that hill where that base is. Right about there. I'm going to park on the very edge. And we'll be coming back to our ship later. I just want to leave the opening right here. Head over this way. Scan some rocks. Look down and look for a plant. And we're going to get a storm, of course. And scan the bird. Okay. Keep heading up the hill. Grab a gravitino ball. Neutron cannon on. Where are our friends? I see they detected me, but I still can't see them. There they are. Take them all out. There is a quad here. There he is. Three shots, close range to take out the quad. Okay. That gets this moved, so you can move to a flatter plane to fight them over here. And while you're doing it, go back to your number four and select it so you can keep track of it. They always come in the direction you're facing. See? And... There we go. He's gone. Keep the... Triangular call-in unit, though. Oh, hi there. Get rid of the healing units. Kind of keep your distance from this guy, because his flamethrower can really hurt you. But pick up the barrels when you, when you need healing. There's another one gone. And the... Oop, I don't want to shoot him. These guys are easy. I've got 23... 24 and 25. We're done. You want to take out the last guys you can. Okay. Head back to your ship. Now, this is the difficult part, and it takes timing. Get in your ship, and you notice it only took us about two and a half minutes to get these guys gone. They're going to try to pull you in. Immediately go into hyperspace. What's your next place you're going? You're going to the Atlas. So just select Atlas Station. Your hyperdrive is already fully charged. Just head towards it. You've escaped the battle. There we go. So that gets that done. And you see it literally only took us two minutes to defeat all those Sentinels. With the Neutron Cannon. A lot of guys like to defeat it when they're creating their base with a, you know, the bolt caster. It takes them at least five minutes or more to do that. You can save yourself a few minutes doing it this way. So where are we? We're at the Atlas, right, I know that. But where are we in the expedition? Let me show you. Let me get lined up first. So, here we are. One is complete. Two is complete. Three is complete. Four is now complete. Five is almost complete. What do we have left? Well, we have to talk to the Atlas, right? We have that selected now. 
We have to learn two more words. We're going to get them in here. And then we have to get our exotic creatures. We've already done the optional milestone, even though it doesn't show, but we haven't researched it all 100% yet. So it's not going to show. And we're going to get this guy right after we're done with this. We'll complete this in about two minutes. And then we'll be done. And we will have probably a sub 110 on this one. I wish we could go further or faster in the tunnel here. It would really help things out a lot. But it is what it is. Now we can land on the middle one. That's fine. That'll work fine. Okay, you got to run over here first. There it goes. We get the word the, and this one will give us infinity. Or infinite, as the case may be. There it is, infinite. And you'll get your achievement. Clear it from your screen real quick. So we have that achievement. Now we're talking to this, and this is over real quick. Right now. See? So, head back to your ship. You're going to get the ending music, even though you haven't quite completed it yet. Use your jetpack. It's a little bit easier to get in your ship that way. So we have one more to do, and that's to discover the anomalous creature. And that's where we're going to end the mission. We're at 140 right now. In about 60 seconds, we'll have this complete. Head for the planet. Do not head for the space station. The planet is only a couple hundred thousand away. It is also a fragmented planet, which means anomalous. Which means there's only one animal on the planet. Just land. And you're done. You just need to scan a creature. So just move and look around. Clear your screen so you can see better and look for a red dot to appear. You'll have to stop on occasion or else the red dot won't appear. There's one right there. And we can see him from here. There it is, anomalous animal. Mission complete. Jump into your ship. There we go. Out. Escape menu. Stop the timer. And as you can see, if we look at the final phase, all these phases are now complete. So we're going to jump out to the mode select. Let's see how we did. Now I say sub 110. Probably could be sub 110. Let's see what we get. Maybe around 110. 106. Not bad. Not bad, considering the fact that I did have the problems with the base computer and I spent a lot of time messing with that. I probably could have walked, knocked it down below 104 if I hadn't had to mess around with that, right? So there's some areas I can improve on. I know I can improve on the main planet as well. So we can get this down to about an hour. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Since 104 is my best time. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. So I don't know if this counts as an official time or not. But not bad. I hope you enjoyed watching me play No Man's Sky. Please hit the like and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next video. Take care, everybody.